Hey guys, John here with TD Racing 13, and today we're down on the bench with the X6 Tarantula. What I'd like to share with you all today is a cheap, simple, super easy way to get rid of the jello effect in the stock mega, 5 megapixel camera. So before we get started here, what I'll do is I'll put up a picture to show you what you're going to need to do this project. You're going to need the stock 5 megapixel camera, the stock anti-vibration mount, the quadcopter's battery, a Velcro cable tie, and two 7-inch zip ties. Now before we get started on the quadcopter, we're going to have to disassemble the stock anti-vibration mount because we're going to need the bottom plate on it. Now the bottom plate is the one with the hooks for the stock camera. So what you're going to do is just use your thumbnail to pinch in that rubber right there and just pull it through. And just work your way right around the mount. It's real easy to do. It doesn't damage it at all, so you can put it back together if you wanted to. There we go. And we're not going to need this part. Like I said, all we're going to need is the bottom section. So now that the bottom's off, we'll go ahead and move over to the quadcopter. So now that you have everything you need, we'll start by prepping the quadcopter. So you're going to take the quadcopter, pull the battery bay completely off of it. You're not going to need the battery bay anymore. So once the battery door is off it, you'll notice that your, um, your, your battery wire right here comes out towards the middle. It can't stretch any further than the middle of the battery bay. This is fine if you don't mind kind of monkeying your fingers in there to plug the plug in. And it still allows you to use the stock battery bay configuration if you weren't flying with a camera on it. Um, which is what I do sometimes. So I'm going to leave it just how it is. But if you wanted to, you could split the quadcopter and move the cable so it comes out right here and then that way you could still fly the quadcopter in its stock configuration but for now we'll leave it how it is next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of your seven inch zip ties and this is the key here you're going to start from the inside out because if you look at a cable tie when it's together, it kind of has like a, it doesn't have a rounded shape to it. It kind of has almost a D shape to it because you have a nice loop and then it goes straight in. So that's going to affect the way the camera hangs. So for that reason, like I said, we're going to make sure that straight part of the cable tie is inside the body and not going to affect the way the camera hangs. So you might have to start by bending the cable tie just a little bit to help you along here and make sure it's facing the right direction and then loop it up right through this stock slot right here where the original battery uh, bay door goes in so you'll come right up from the inside sometimes you can put like a double bend on it like that and carefully Feed it on through. Once it gets started through, sorry for my hands being in the way, then you can pull it right, right on through, just like that. And now you're going to want to do the same thing with the front one as well before we go any further. So I'll go ahead and do that right now off camera. Once you have both cable ties, run through the first loops of the quadcopter there. You're going to want to take your, your lower pr uh, plate that we had prepped earlier. And you want to look at it, there's an arrow right there. That arrow, there we go, that arrow points forward. So that's the front of the plate. And obviously the part where the latch is here is the bottom. So you want the plate to hang from the quadcopter this way. So the easiest way to do this is to turn the quadcopter upside down. Take your plate, make sure it's positioned properly, and run the first zip tie through the top of the plate and then back down through the bottom and you're going to want to do that with both the front and the rear zip ties now once you have them through the plate you're going to want to put them back down into the body of the quadcopter through the slots on the left side of the quadcopter 
So for this part, you're probably going to want to straighten out that hook you put in it. But well, you'll just run it right down through the slots. And once you go through the slot, you're going to want to connect the zip tie together. So you're going to want to go right in. This is lining right up for me perfectly. You may need a pair of needle nose pliers to help you with this part. And this is probably the trickiest part of the whole build, is just getting these connected. Now once you get your zip tie connected, you're just going to want to grab it and feed it in until you hear it click a couple times. That's all you really need. You heard that? That clicked twice? We'll go three or four times. Now the rear, the rear part of the zip tie hanger is done. So we'll move on to the front and we'll do the same thing. Now one quick tip here when putting this together, <clears throat> it's easiest I've found to use the needle nose to hold the square end of the zip tie under the slot that you're sliding through and then pushing the zip tie down through until you hear it click. That seems to be the easiest way to do this fiddly little part of the job. Once you have your zip ties in, your mount should be looking something like this. So the next thing you're going to want to do is attach the camera. The camera, in a way, holds those zip ties or, or flattens them out a little bit, if you will. So you're going to take your stock camera and just clip it onto the mount like you normally would. So now that our camera's mounted, the last thing we're going to need to do is attach the battery. And I'm just using these um, Velcro cable ties, and they have the little hole in them so you can really bind them down real nice and tight. This isn't a, ne uh, a necessity, but I find it nice because you can get it good and tight and not worry about the battery sliding out in flight. So what I'm going to do is start by hooking this up around the, uh, the battery mount here. So I'll just run this through here. And get it kind of close to the right size of the battery first. And then once we have that like that, we'll take our battery and we're going to mount the cable to the rear of the quadcopter. So we'll go ahead and we'll slide our battery in. And the good thing is, is the zip ties kind of hold it in place because they're a little narrower than the battery. Just to kind of get this all tied together you can even do this upside down if you want to once you get it started and you'll just take your cable binder here and just tighten it right up now that our battery's in place we're ready to fly um, a couple of the added benefits here is a the battery runs a lot cooler hanging down below the body and b you're not fiddling around with the battery door every time you want to plug this thing in you know, you just plug it in, drop it, and you're ready to fly. Um, one thing that I do want to mention that I do add to this as well is I just fold a little piece of paper up and tuck it up underneath the lens. And that way the lens stays where you put it when you adjust it, and it's not rattling around. And that also adds to the anti-jello effect. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. Um, what I'll do is I'll post a link to my original anti-jello mount video that shows this mount in action so you can see how well it really does work. And uh, as always, I really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time.